We are live, and let me refresh, make sure we are good to go. We're on time, too. So, you know what? Because NBA Finals today, I know you want to watch, so let's get this uh, live show knocked out. <clears throat> All right, let me see who is here. S.A., Jimmy, William Perry, uh, Kevin Montes, and Jay Ochoa. Trackstar, Chris Online, let me see Swoopman, Brian, Brian, how was sourcing today, Brian? I need to know. Uh, let me see, Lucky and Three Legs, Manny Fresh, Hustle Crow, James, James, I owe you money for a giveaway. Uh, email me or DM if you haven't already. I got to double check, but I try to get most of them, uh, the money paid out today. So, Magnetic Souls. And let me see, Price Assassins, Coup Kicks, it's Wednesday already? For, I mean, man, days are just going by quick. Next thing you know, summer's over, Q4 will be here. It's going quick. Uh, Puma Hustler, Austin, Hawaii Rams fan. Let me see, Brian just got a Jordan 1 in the mail today. And Palma, Eric watches YouTube. Um, and Eric, I sent you a message today on uh, the giveaways as well. Rock the Kicks, Rashard, Smooth Selling, Sue Huskins, One Kick Finder, Trap Al Bundy. Uh, let me see, Abnit and D Middleman Picker, Josh Leva, more people coming in. Uh, so first update on the B. The B has been on the move. He's been traveling. He's been doing things. So he did not make it last Wednesday in the live show. We did not do Motivational Monday, which we probably should have. But also, again, he was out. Not blaming him, but he was out. And then Wednesday today, the B might join in on chat if I don't think he's going to make it on time. Um, but hopefully on Monday, we'll be set. And we should be good to go from there. But I'll keep you guys posted on what happens there. Uh, let me go back on here. Resell Freak. What's up, Dapper Fanatic? Smooth sailing. Yes, yes, sir. We could definitely talk later. Um, see, Cernox Connection, Coach Evans, uh, Rudwin and Infinite Wealth, and Rachel and Nick. What's up, SA? Uh, oh, see, there you go. There's B in the plane now, about to take off. So, there's your B update. So, we should be good to go on Monday, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, where do we start off? We got a lot of news, sneaker news. Uh, fines are somewhat getting better, so that's good. Uh, be, be making boss moves in a private jet. Dominic, what's up? Let me see. Did eBay get rid of their customer service call-in? I don't think so. I called them late last week. Uh, let me get this. Demand mis misinformation in hand. What's up? Select goods. What's up? Let me get this thing started. All right. Uh, Dapper, how's the diet and lifestyle change? Going well, going strong, stuck with it, and uh, been working out, working on the legs. <laughs> Don't want those bird legs. Julian, and here we go. All right. First topic. I want to thank everybody for watching my new video, series video, uh, this one, five Jordan 4s, nobody wanted that skyrocketed in price. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up on that video as well. It takes a long time to make these sort of videos, but it was one of the things I wanted to do earlier in the year. I was like, all right, summer, I got to focus on improving the channel, different content. And like I said, too, I want to get to like the daily type of content things. Um, so this is something I've always wanted to do. And when I actually sat and put it together, I was like, man, this is time consuming, but I like it. I like where it's going and just something different. You know what I mean? I get a lot of uh, people asking kind of too, like, why don't you do like shoe reviews or something like that? And I'm like, I do not want to do shoe reviews. The people that are doing shoe reviews don't even want to do shoe reviews. Like that's how many YouTube channels are doing it. And all of them have the same thumbnail too. Look. It was like this. It was like they get shoes, and then it's like things don't don't buy this shoe without watching this video, and then they just 
It's like the same, the same thing. You got that's got to get tiring. It's got to. Um, let me get this thing back. Where are we? Uh, whoops, not full screen. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, there we go. And so this one, you know, I like to see like how do prices kind of change and how does the market change? And it's it's just different. Like it's totally different with shoes. Of course, we love shoes, sneakers, things like that. So I thought it fit in perfectly. Tomorrow is going to be a different video. So tomorrow will be five Jordan 1s that collected dust at the outlets. Ones that sat on the racks. So we want to check that video out tomorrow. I'll have it done. And then I'm working on Ross video for Friday. So we're getting there. Uh, watch before buying. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> and it's hilarious. Uh, shoe reviews are played out already. Um, so you got to get the sneakers a month early. That's also true, Koo Kicks. Um, I really like the video. Now I regret not getting them when they were at those prices, as Rachel. And there's a lot of things, though, that we didn't even know at that time, too. You know, the market was different. That's what I like to see. Like, how did it change from one year to the next? Why did some shoes did a lot, you know, do better than others? And things are crazy. I mean, we definitely saw things change. Josh, it was a great video. I enjoyed it. Um, I know he cashed out good on those Black Cat 4s. Uh, let me see. Glenn, what do you think about Kobe going back to Adidas? We're going to talk about that. Uh, let me go back in here. Let me see. What time tomorrow? It should be uh, 630, 6.30 or 7 Mountain Standard Time. So about the same time we are right now. Uh, let me go back up. Looking forward to them. Appreciate that. What up? Um, haven't watched a shoe review video in 10 years. Also, Crow, clickbait faces. Um, don't resell those shoes until you watch this live. <laughs> time to buy a time machine, says the B. All right, let me see. Cop this one, smash this one. All right, let's go. Talking about Kobe's, William Perry just mentioned it. We saw the news. Um, they're Adidas planning on releasing Kobe's. Now they are going to have the Adidas name change, the crazy one, the crazy 97 EQT. So as far as I know, at least that I've seen on nice kicks, complex, all the other sites, they're not using the Kobe name, but interesting enough today though, Candace Parker tagging you know, Vanessa and I mean, and even hashtag Adidas Kobe. So I don't know what's happening here. Is Vanessa in on this? Do we know? Do we not know what is going on? Let's see what the chat says. Um, Audi, <laughs> the, that same that answer always comes back. And Jake knows too. But they're trash, bro. They're trash. They're not going to be Kobe's crazy line, says Koo Kicks. That's what I'm thinking. At least that what we know of so far. Um, the white pair looks clean. Those are ugly, says Rachel. Uh, let me see. Kobe ones are dope. They're definitely a classic. Uh, don't try to grab shoes on sneakers before you watch this. What Kobe will Booker wear tonight? Same thing with uh, PJ Tucker, who got dunked on. Oh, man. He's looking for a charge. He's like, charge? <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Uh, the fake Jake. Uh, Colby, Bryant, <laughs> Josh Leva. Uh, why do they keep retiring these and not the Kobe 2 Adidas? That's also very true. Um, so we're going to see what happens. It didn't say, it says next year. No other information regarding the, uh, the crazy line. And we'll see what they decide to do. So, um, all right, next one. We got in-hand shots of the Jordan 4 Lightning uh, in the chat. Smash or pass. I want to know who's going to get them for the collection, though. Not for resale collection. You've been looking forward to them. You want to rock them. Uh, we also got that box, too. The Jordan 4s have been coming in. Obviously, the white Oreo and the, univer uh, the UNC also have you know the different box, different colors. So in the chat, who's going to pick them up? Let me see. I think it's a clean shoe. Uh, Richard says collection for sure. Need a collection since wanting them since I was a kid. A.N. Smash for personal. Too mustardy, <laughs> says Koo Kicks. 
collection for sure. One kick finder, definitely collections. I'll see a lot of people definitely wanting them. Uh, SA says pass. James says fire. Uh, Ku kicks meh. <laughs> Uh, what am I paying 300 plus for a pair? There we go. A-N. Fours are my favorite. Great shoe, Hustleby. So Z does like that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Steelers colors, too legit. I'll take a few. Price Assassins. Smash for the collection. Been wanting a pair of Thunders forever, says Rachel. Personals, Magnetic Souls. In hand decision, Astro Drip. Uh, need some ketchup, says Connection. So, yeah, I mean, look clean. Uh... Looking, at least we can see in these photos. Also, of course, the box. But we know they're going to be hyped, definitely, uh, once they do release. So uh, let's see what happens. See when they come out. We also got, speaking of yellow and gold, and we just mentioned Steelers colors. We got more. Now we got the pollen, which comes in a black and yellow box. I think this just further hypes it up. Remember, like black and yellow or university gold 12s the gary paytons and people rocking them with their steelers jerseys i was gonna say james connor but i don't think he plays for them anymore <laughs> and then uh schuster i don't think i mean roethlisberger where else can we go um yeah the box though is definitely what i think now is gonna get people more hyped so Smasher Pass in the chat. Uh, Wu-Tang ones. Um, let me see. Both of those pairs go hard with the Wu-Tang shirt. Everybody's going to be wearing Wu-Tang shirt and Steelers jerseys. Let me see. Nice touch on the box. Hustle B colorway. Uh, let me go back up. Did B talk to Jordan brand? More Hustle B colorways. Uh, let me see. Boston, Boston Bruins colors. There we go. Not Steelers. Or pirates, or whatever other black and yellow team they have. Meh, but plus the box, people are gonna love those. Exactly. Ku kicks fire and fire. Bam 24 kicks and magnetic souls. Uh nah, actually eight out of ten says Rachel. So yeah, excited for these. See when they release. They do slightly look lighter than they do on this photo. So at least they did they didn't mess with the tag because i thought it was going to be something different um but looks good let's see when they come out and go from there oh look at that <laughs> uh, all right to cat what's up all right random news uh ross to open new store in missouri and this is opening soon uh the 17th july 17th opening up Anybody in this area, anybody going to drive out there? Not that Ross has, I don't know, over-the-top fines right now. But for a grand opening, hey, you never know. Uh, let me see. Anybody in the chat? Missouri, they're taking a the drive, going out there. Where is this? Anybody know? <laughs> we'll see in the chat when it updates. Next. Oh, that was it for the news. We had updates. We had news. Only 1%. All right. How are your sales? Last time we talked, summer slowdown somewhat. Uh, we also talked about how everybody's going out of town, spending time with their families, getting out there. They didn't get a chance to do that last year. 2020, worst year ever. So now everybody's out and about. You know who's really dominating right now? I would, I would have to think would have to be urban necessities. I mean, think about everybody going to Vegas, even though they've been to Vegas how many times throughout the last how many years people go once a year. People just go to Vegas, blow money on whatever they want. But having that sneaker store there in that mall, you know, people are just buying stuff that you can get $100, $120 cheaper on StockX and go. Summer slowdown, list more, says connection. eBay's pretty solid. A little slow, but still hitting my monthly minimum. Select goods. Sales picked up this week, especially on eBay. Josh Leva. Uh, let me see. Sold a few Miami carry preheats this week. Austin. Slow eBay shifted to goat. Better. Let me see. UN crazy inventory. Hustle B down 23%. Also hasn't listed anything for two weeks. This guy's been out and about. Sales are good, says Nick. Urban necessities, perfect location. Exactly. 
uh, eBay Go or Steady. And Mercari, thumbs down. Let me see. Vegas resort fees are ridiculous. $40 a night for sure. eBay slower, go up. Oh, big money mo. <laughs> Let me see. UN had good rundown video of their top sellers on YouTube recently. So there you go. Check that out. Ecom Lifestyle. Over up over 100 percent on eBay. Vintage profit. Hot cold, hot cold. Uh, do the fart noise again. That's my sales. <laughs> and Mr. Eric, what up? Mr. Eric, our uh, nurse correspondent, keeps us posted on what's going on in the world and how people are feeling. And today will be no different. Mr. Eric, how are people doing out there? You know what? I had other news. Where is it? You know, here it is. I got the slides mixed up. This what happened last time, too. Uh, where's my boy Miles, aka Slim Pickens? We got this update on complex sneakers that the Scars Pizza Air Force One, someone did buy it for over 120 grand. <laughs> like, this is insane. Um, I don't think it says what, what size or anything, right? What's going on? Um, remember, this is the same same thing. Miles found it at Burlington, sixty bucks. I know he still has them, and you know, I think when he first posted it, of course, he got a lot of heat, a lot of people questioning him. Ah, oh, this is fake. No way. How could you find this? You know, haters in the chat. I mean, on their uh, IG post, and even DJ Clark Kent was on there, like. Hey, don't sell these. They're a collector's piece. Miles has a family. Miles is going to make money. I can tell you that right now. 60 bucks. They are boys, a six and a half, or maybe men six and a half. I don't remember. They were six and a half. Why or men six and a half? We've seen that. So I I just want to see what what he's going to eventually sell them for. I know he's just holding on to them. In the chat, what would you do? Would you list them now? Would you wait? Uh, what would be your game plan if you're Miles? Was he here? Was he here in the chat? Maybe he'll join us later on. Uh, let me see. Smooth so sailing. Have you been on StockX so far? Uh, nothing new on StockX because last month they ran a promotion. If you do bulk sales, then down the road they'll give you half off fees. So I don't have anything listed on StockX right now because I'm waiting for half off fees. Um, Mr. Eric, for those wondering about, you know, that wear your masks done. <laughs> All right. There's an update. Uh, let me see. Let me go, man. All right. I'm behind. Miles is about to cash out and invest in monthly dividend stock. Uh, but the shoes didn't come in the 121,000 box vintage profit, serious money. That's a house. That's a castle in El Paso. Uh, let's see, laundering for sure. Oh, I thought he was the one who sold them. No, he wasn't the one who sold them, but he said that, uh, he just said, oh, my price just went up. So he's still holding on to them. Um, oh, there he goes. There's, see, there's Miles. Now he's here in the chat. Uh, we're asking everybody in the chat what their game plan is. Miles, what is your game plan with the shoe? How, how long do you plan on holding out? You're open to offers. Uh, what's going on there? How many of them did they make? Uh, it was super exclusive. I don't think they have too many of them out there at all. Um, let me see. <laughs> I take 120k, buy 50k car, and invest 70k. <laughs> Hustle me. Uh, let me see. For 100k, they'll be gone. Uh, Yamasa yeah, still got them. Sneakers aren't stocks, children. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Going to hold on for at least five years. I'll take an offer 95K. So, Miles, we'll be ready when you cash out. So, that's going to be a full celebration when that happens. All right. On to weekend releases. Uh, this came out today. And Air Max 90 Legacy, $140. And Sneakers app, they did sell out. 
Um, they are pretty clean, though. I do like just the whole mismatch of stuff going on here, the patchwork, everything there. Um, I don't know if it was a women's exclusive. I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know what they're reselling for either, but I do know they did sell out today. Uh, let me see. Anybody else in the chat, what do you think about these? Trash. Trash. Uh, let me see. Crazy. More trash. Uh, pizza party on miles. Uh, let me see. Oh, it is for women. So there we go. All right. Air Max 90 today. Next. Tomorrow, Air Max 97 purple bullet. Um, just like the OGs, except we got the purple um, air unit. We also got the purple swish on there in the middle. Uh, same thing uh, with the tongue. And let me see what else it says about it. I think that's pretty much it. I think it's clean. I mean, it's it's not the OG. The OG we know and love. But I think it's a nice little, I don't know, want to add for the collection a little bit. See, looking clean. I wear them. Nice. Uh, see, cop. Really purple bullet. <laughs> clean. You know, you can wear some Lakers stuff. Or in this case, all the bandwagoners rocking Suns gear it has a little purple in there, right? Outlet bound, says SA. Uh, clean but pass, says Josh. So tomorrow, 170. It only says where to buy Foot Locker, so I don't know. That's I don't think that's an exclusive or anything, but I guess we'll find out. Nike ID vibe. Nike running out of ideas and pass. All right, next. Cop this one. Smash this one. Xbox Space Jam, a new legacy. Nike LeBron 18 low. So we have, yes, the movie is coming out this Friday. And they have what mismatching pairs represent Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner come packaged with a Xbox controller. So a little half and half of both characters in a special box. Uh, in the chat, are you going to rock anything or cop anything? Space Jam New Legacy. They're, I mean, Nike is coming out with a bunch of stuff. Um, apparently, they're called Goon Squad now. So I saw that, like shorts and a jersey, LeBron jerseys, hoodies, tees. Every character has their own shoe. Um, like this one, here's another one. Uh, Converse, we got the Toon Squad. Um, this is also Sneakers App 120, comes out on the 16th. This might be outlet bound <laughs> down the road. Um, anybody gonna get anything? Or even watch the movie in this case. I want to know. Let's see. Jordan equals Space Jam 11. LeBron equals this trash. Astro Drip, not a fan. Are you picking up the LeBum James pack with the controller? No. Uh, corny, says Hustlebee. He is not a fan. But they're trash, bro. They're trash. Uh, let me see. Glenn, those rubber prestos finally tore after almost a year, man. Hey, they're holding up for a good while. But still, you'd think they'd maybe last a little bit longer than that. Don't like any of them. I'll probably resell for money in a few years. Could be true. Pass as D-Bay. Let um, see. My girlfriend has a nine-year-old. We're watching it on Friday. For sure, kids and stuff. What am I in taking them and experiencing that whole thing? And, uh, you know... It's their new Toon Squad. See what they think. Uh, be hated on the movie and now the shoes. Space Jam marketing and promotion are out of this world for sure. Everywhere I've gone. Toon Squad this, LeBron that, everywhere. Uh, resell is way up on the one with the controller, says Resell Freak. So there you go. Sneakers app July 15th. All right, let's skip this. We already talked about it. Um, Jake shoes, uh, kamikaze to low and spearmint maximum orange July 16th Reebok. So, of course, associated with NBA legend Sean Kemp, and we got a heavy 1996 NBA all star vibes, but it is a low. Do we care? Do we not care? 
This is a tra uh, the chat's already letting us know. Straight trash. Uh, pass. Outlets. Trash again. Looks like toilet water. Marshall's de bound definitely. Delete this slide, and the orange ruined it. So, man. Yeah, no one's caring for this. That's weak. Finally, here we are. Electro orange. Shattered backboard. 21. How many shattered backboard type of colorways are we going to get? Smash or pass for the collection. Do you plan on rocking these? Uh, the biggest issue, I would say, is this back panel, the heel panel being white. Of course, we get, like, uh, the collar and everything else white, so don't really get that color in here. And, of course, they do that on purpose. Slight little mini changes. That's how Nike gets you. Next thing you know, you have 10 different colorways of the same. Well, 10 different shoes, same similar colorways, and spending another 170 Actually, resale value. Um, so what do we think? Clean. Got them today, says Brian. Cop. Cop. Cop even though it looks like a mid, says A.N. Um, also, what about Brian? How's the shiny part up here? Um, is that good or not? They feel like they're lubed up. Uh, they look like mids with that color blocking. Clean, but I don't need them. Material on the orange is cool, but eh. I'm getting those not paying for shattered backboards. I don't like the color blocking, though. Um, it's all right, says Big Money Mo. Those look super weak. Man, just not having it. At all. That's weak. Uh, fire, but no orange in my wardrobe. Astro Drip, that can change. If you become a fan of the Miami Dolphins, you can wear orange and aqua. Next. Are we done here? You know what? Check your stores and see. I uh, wonder what resale value is going to be. Um, what are they at right now, StockX? You know somebody already has them on here. Um, let me see. It's taking me there. There we go. Size 11. Wow. 226 right now in my size. Uh, remember retail 170, 226 size 11. And that's even buying them already right now from the people that got them early, like Brian, uh, 223, 220 seems to be the ongoing price right now. Uh, I wonder if they come with orange laces. Giants fans might like them. Definitely see that. 215 after release, Mr. Eric. 210 says Fly Kicks after the drop. Sees them going down even more. Or Big Money Mo is just going to get a bunch of them at the outlets. Power rankings last week. Big Money Mo was number one. Uh, actually, Ross is number one, but only two and a half. They're number one by default. Burlington at two. Marshalls with one sad star. Man, Burlington, what is going on? Not liking it at all. Let's see, 230 because sneaker market is down right now. It says AN. Uh, they go for 250. I'll pay 220. And going down, then back up in a few months, says Chad. All right, here we go. Marshalls, they got half a star. And or one and a half stars, but we added this little half right there. Golden Goose and Electric Relish. Uh, I think they're 400 bucks too. And I think, um, who else found some? Dapper, I think, at a different store. Uh, but Marshall's coming out with some high end product um, out there. And no, any, uh, I guess, I haven't really seen any other Jordans or anything. Um, I'll wait for them at the outlets. 140 plus watching. Hit that like button. Baker brand. All the rich moms would love to buy that, says Connor. I found some too, but pass, says S.A. I found them at TJ Maxx, says Nick. Polo bear time. The B loves polo bear. We got two hoodies here. 80 bucks. Chai sneaker deals. Found two of them, a navy blue and a gray. Um, 80 bucks, hard pass. So in the chat, would you pick up Polo Bear? Sneaker flip, find more polo hoodies and high C's with the shorts, 50 bucks. Uh, retail price, $248 on the polo shorts. 
Let's see, the B is a polo bear. I found some gray goose. Uh, let me see what up. RJ Funky finds. Um, let's see, still too much. After the Marshalls went to uh, went to this week, only one store had something worth mentioning, which is the uh, Venoms aren't even that good. Next, Desert Finds. The cleats are still out there. Somehow, some way. Hunt Collections, Project Rock backpacks are back. Uh, this was TJ Maxx. I don't know the price. And even some of the outlets, if you do have Under Armour outlets, some of the backpacks are there as well. And a Don Alpha cleat. Man, look at this. Baseball chest protectors. And uh, five different ones. And they're all marked down to 48 bucks. They're originally at $80. So, nice. I need more Jordan 1 cleats, says S.A. Uh, giant panda bears are no longer an endangered species. There you go, Kevin. Uh, cleats. Big money mo. Let me see. I found one of the chest protector at Marshall's. Good money. Uh, the rock backpacks are 60 bucks. It says SA. Sold the orange one a few months ago for good money. And Rachel says pay 80. And so yeah, big money. So nice. Don Alpha Cleat. That was it for Marshalls. Not a whole lot going on. Going to Burlington at two stars. Bam, 24 kicks down with the uh, England jerseys. I think they're 10 bucks or something. So super cheap. Picked up, uh, what, four of these. So very nice. At least they got something out there on clearance. And uh, different cleats or different things all around. Richard. And we got some of the Vapor Max. Girls section 40 bucks. Hunt collections, Nike jackets, Himalayan Sun, very nice with the cleats, and real deal thrifter. Only found one, but I'll take it 20 bucks. Next. More cleats. Phantom Vision, Tiempos, and more. Flip the script. And Faith Lopez flipped the script. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Twenty-five dollars. That one's I think for kids. And we got some of the men's ones out here. Hey, cleats are somewhat showing up a little bit here and there. Burlington and Ross. So see what happens. Bobby hustles and Naughty Dog deals. Forty-five dollars each on the LeBrons. They are kids, but either way, gotta pick those up classic colors as well and then we also got naughty dog deals again uh with the spizike and cnj enterprises uh with the fly knit free and how much are these 50 bucks so let me see i just got the email forgot i want <laughs> to get uh let me see i've been seeing a few colorways of the untouchables eric watches youtube just sold England jersey before the loss. 120. Nice. Infinite wealth. Burlington flooded with Skechers. That was it. Burlington, man. What can I say? What can I do? Ross, number two, three stars. Uh, Naughty Dog Deals. Cleats. Rapid finds with the B's favorite um, with the Crocs and HLW resell. Vans, and we got golf, and we got cleats. Yeah, Ross getting three stars. Look, three stars is actually, well, well, I'll tell you why they're getting three stars. Mostly because of Doc Martens and cleats. Um, but considering the fact that we've seen Ross at one point, gold stars, we've seen it five fire emojis, we've seen them go all out. This is nothing. So, uh, let me see. No one buying the Crocs now that they are 30 bucks. <laughs> Big money mo. Uh, let's see. I'm killing Ross with Nike backpacks for 35 Ross with the $15 Crocs, says Kevin. Dry, dry, dry. BKK. Three stars. Okay, says Astro Drip. Damn, Burlington, says Richard. Yeah, what happened? Burlington. Uh, let me see. Calling the Better Business Bureau on Burlington and Ross. Yeah, we got to do something. Let's keep going. Radio. Uh, USA Hardens 
and some of the Under Armour sleeping stuff. Of course, big money. I'm surprised these are still out there. Uh, but man, I would love to find one right about now, you know? Just a little hint to my Ross. Something. Flipping for funds. Retail $100. Satin Jordan pants, $22. Little this, little that. Club America. And I don't know how much they are, but I got a couple of these of the jackets. So pretty sweet there, too. All right. $25. Bam 24 kicks. CNJ Enterprises. Gore Tex. We got the Copas. We got Chai Sticker Deals with the USA Hardens and Hustle Crow. Same thing. More Hardens. Lots of Hardens showing up at Ross and Burlington. I'd probably throw that in there too. I've seen that like Dynasty Houston Rockets one out there. Um, some other random ass color I've seen, but yeah, a lot of Hardens starting to show up. Uh, let's see what size you need for the Under Armour saw twin set today. There you go, Richard. Uh, I do need a king. I'm not very tall, but I sleep like a king. King size bed. Uh, let me see. Bam 24 kicks. The sea gland. Thanks. Harden with the wee pack. <laughs> All right, keep going. Vans. Uh, 415 resells. Super rare vans with the high floral. $35. And we also got another pair of the vans, almost like a UNC blue. Kid Junior 24. They are B grade, but picking them up. And Levita Retail, also with the React Golf, 33 bucks. There you go, Brian. Got a couple of uh, King sets. Uh, let me see. Uh, custom size bed for his mansion. Seth Fowler cleaning up Ross's. I think it's funny how a lot of the dudes, like, I saw one of the, I saw the first video. I haven't seen any of them since then. But some of the comments are like, Ross, I never thought of this. Like, dude just invented the store. I was like, man, this is how it is out here? All right. Let's see what's going on. Keep going. Uh, Bay Area Mike. 415 resells. They're, they're still out there. Bam 24 kicks, 20 bucks, size nine and a half. And two more up here. Don't know the sizes. Also got the trout, 25 bucks, two pairs, red pair and the black pair, 25. Um, yeah, they're getting in your lane. <laughs> That's big money mo. Uh, let me see. Gonna bring a whole new wave of sneaker resellers. Uh, let me see. I try to scan everything. Says George. Let me see. Need Jordan 1 cleats. Uh, blowing up your spots. At least they're blowing it up right now while it's dry and picking up whatever. So at least with us, we know uh, what is out there. They've been doing it for a while. Let me see. Man, I'd like nothing more than to get some Air Max 97s in a good colorway arsenal. Next. Jackets. Only one Ross that I've gone to has jackets. Nothing like this. But uh, Sneaker Flip find Liverpool jackets down to 14 bucks or something. Crazy. Little this, little that. Polo, polo, polo. Bam, 24 kicks. Zapatos out here. 280 bucks on the solds. Uh, retail, 298 Huge find, bro. Bam, 24 kicks. Uh, no content in the sneaker culture. They got to switch it up. Big money mo. Let them buy the bricks. Um, I don't know. It isn't it ain't as easy as sneaker reselling. You got to put in work and time. Very true. Uh, let me see. The dogs are parking again this week. B must have made it home. I know. Our neighbor's dogs went crazy. Uh, let me see. Picking up three more polo jackets today. Nice. Um, 60 min profit per sale. Um, so you got bored of the sneaker reviews. Next. Slim Pickens. Back to back. Uh, also got the Under Armors and Richard and Brian. We got the Gore-Tex. Also got the Duck Martens out here. So we got a couple of things. It's building up. Ross somewhat climbing. Cleat time. Infinite Wealth. Classic City, 
Chasky resells Ross Guru 25, 25, 22, which is weird. I got different prices in here, but uh, more cleats showing up. Let me see. Would you ever go to SneakerCon for a video? Very good question. Um, I would, but I wonder what we would. Hmm. Good question. We probably should. I did see that uh, they're going to Denver soon. Very close. Could it happen? Maybe. We got to visit Mile High Hustle. What a time to be alive, too. Mile High found cart two cartfuls recently. His sons are in the finals. Next. Cleat. Again, Phantoms. $27. Uh, 27 bucks again. Martino finds Hunt Collections, Jamal Hunter. We got uh, different things out here. So that's always good. Flying it, ACC, we'll take it. Glenn should make a video selling his Ross finds at SneakerCon. Uh, let me see. Anyone stumble across those TikTok videos showing Ross finds on flipping them on StockX? Mr. Eric. Next. Uh, this is what everybody's been picking up. $50. So here we go. In the chat, smash or pass, have you been finding them? Have you been picking them up? Does it matter that it's 50 bucks? Is that for you like, uh, I don't want to take the risk? Are you doing the research? Are you not researching? Taking them, leaving them? Where are you at right now? Uh, let me see. So Bobby Hustles, 415 Resells, Band 24 Kicks, and Sneaker Flip Find $50 on the Doc Martens. So 60 year special edition. Random colors out there too. Different stuff. Definitely get your attention. Um, let me see. You found a few. They sold quick. Heavy to ship. Infinite wealth. Very good. No docs here. Says connection. Uh, let's see. Comps are crazy. High 500s, I believe, for this one. This one's wild. Uh, let me see. Next one. Not found, but have sold at $180. Picked up three pairs from Michael. Let's see, Journeys has some 40 bucks with box in store. There we go. Heads up from Mr. Eric. Rocker chicks wear them. Select goods. Haven't found them. You better do calculated shipping on those. Like in three legs. I'd take them. Um, the wilder, the better for sure. All right, so we got these four here. We've talked about Mile High. There he is. Also got some Under Armors complete with the box. Some of the Doc Martens in there. Crazy, bright, purple. I mean, this crazy stuff too. Um, we also got more cartfuls of cleats. Uh, flipping it good also out here. And one off resell. Uh, more cleats. So these good sizes, two, eight and a half. And let's see, what do we got here? More of the boots. And Vans. All right. Let me see. Sold some Doc Sandals for like 150 says Nick. Biggest flip, 210 for England limited release Docs, Mr. Eric. Uh, thanks for that info, RJ. A bug stomper shoe. And saw a couple, Mr. Jeezy. Uh, we're not done. Man, these are sick. 27 bucks. And one kick finder, sneaker god, hustle crow, JT resells. I actually got something different too in there. Uh, but man, I've not seen these out there in the wild. I uh, wonder what sizes are out there too. But hey, might be worth making your trip to Ross. You know, getting rid of all the RBX, all the Nautica, the Levi's, the Fila, and try to find some cleats out there. Uh, let me see. Passed on one pair of docks today. Size six. Good sizes. Also crow. Uh, let me see. I'll buy them from you if elite says Ben. One of my pairs, 17 bucks. Jackie Smith. Such a dope colorway on the cleats for sure. Fila for life. Those are nice. Radioactive looking cleats looking clean. $200 cleats right there. Resell freak. Hustle crow says elite. Cleat season. Yes, sir. 
Khaki Smith uh, snagged an 8 and a 10. Good sizes. Uh, comp some over 250. So make the trip out there. Even just one pair. Definitely worth it. All right. I told you. They're going to make their way into the whole lineup. Nike Factory Store, of course, is going to be number one. But the same thing, like we've seen better days from the outlets. I am giving them number one. They are slightly better than Ross just because not all of us are hitting. But Nike Factory Store is in, baby. Tag me on your finds. What are you finding at the outlets? The next couple of slides, pretty much Big Money Mo highlight reel. Half man, half amazing. But still, tag me for the future shows. Giovanni asks, where's B? So he is flying. He'll probably be home soon. He should be ready to go for Monday. See, so yeah, there we go. There's Nike Factory. Nike Factory Star 3 stars, I know. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Stussy pullover, puffer jacket, sneaker flip find. And also the insulated pants. Big money mo. $47.58. Size 2X. Gonna be a winter wonderland. Next. A hustle crow said went last week. Outlet had nothing. No sale even. So I know they did a clothing. I think extra 30% off for uh, 4th of July sale. Um, of course there's some in-app coupons you can also be using. But I didn't see anything special, at least my outlets, back wall, you know, back wall and in bin and things like that. So I don't know. Keep checking and see. It looks like someone's delivering stuff or dropping things off or I don't know what at the door. Uh, let me see. Found a jacket for Ross, 16 bucks. Bids are 175 on the pants. Big money mo. Let me see. Lots of places like Fanatics just put their stuff on clearance online instead of sending it to Ross. Let me see. Joke. Who went to the $25 clearance? What? Adult sale. Uh, let me see. Now it's only 20% off on apparel. All right. Let's keep going. Maximum 2300 Up Tempos, PGs, and Vapor Max. KS reselling. Did it get some Jordan 1 low? Um, Mr. Steel, your stock got mids, uh, but they were down. So $68. Size so 7.5, 11, 11.5, and, and more. All in box. And so we have all these uh, complete in there. Where's my B? Uh, where's my B mids? Um, soundbite. I can't even find it. I'm not going to delete it. All right, I'll find it soon. Um, let's see, they just released two, says Big Money Mom. The mids are clean. Secret sale, Mr. Eric. Go pick up your edible arrangement delivery. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me go back up. Anything else we didn't, we didn't see? Oh, no. That was it. Okay, next. So big money mo. We got the women's down parka. 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks for a $300 parka. Um Nike Aeroswift, $6 for the singlets out here. And why is this guy standing like this? Is it cool? Uh, and flip the script and we have, we have a bunch of these at the outlets too. I think a lot of people are just taking them for the box. Has to be for the box. Uh, next. Sneaker flip find. Um, Sakai out here. Same thing for Mr. Steal Your Stock. $35 on the double zip hoodie. And then Chai Sneaker Deals. Someone returned Griffey's and also the Jordan 1s. Let's see, he flexing. I thought finding the singlets for 15 was a good deal. I saw them air Jordan 1 lows. Hate the way they look, says Connor. Let me see if I'm the singlets at Ross for 12. Now let's look at the different prices. So HLW resale 
has synthetic Phil uh, Phil Windrunner thirty seven ninety seven. That's men's though. Women's big money mo down Phil seventeen bucks. Uh, we also got Brian men's. So looks like yeah, these are the same thirty nine ninety seven same price. You got the black pair and or black color and the blue color. Can't even talk. Big Money Mo also women's synthetic fill twelve dollars retail two hundred net oh that's it that's it for Nike outlet so now you understand why they're at three stars we didn't get mer- very many shoes but the jacket's super cheap Nike giving them away and the thing is too is like next thing you know we're in fall we're in winter people need jackets they're cold. Let me see. Mo got a super plug. S A. Uh, let me see. It's just me, or does all the Sakai stuff look like when Denise tried to make designer shirt for the Young Cosby show? Intramorph. Wish I had an outlet nearby. Man, that's sad for Nike. So yeah, we'd expect better from Nike, but that's where they're at. Before we start the giveaway, these are the last remaining ones that I do owe money, and these are in orange, light orange, because. I did email you or DM you, so it's pending, right? In green, I have not heard from you. So James Omar, contact me, and uh, I'll send you some money. Giveaway time. Are you ready? Let's see who wins this one. All stores are sad, says Ben. All right, let me get my answer. I know it's here or not. Okay, I have my answer. And you need to spell it out. No numbers. Spell it out. How many have sold on eBay last 90 days? Not listed. Sold. I need the number. Uh, Let me see. 170 plus watching. Only 73 likes. Hit that like button. All right. Vintage profit. Very, very close. More answers coming in. Nobody's won yet. Let me double check. All right, let me see. No, no. No. Nope, nope. Mm, Getting close. Coach Steve, very close. Infinite wealth, no. All right, I think we have a winner. And correct answer 16, Fast Eddie. You have won. Easy 25 bucks, Fast Eddie. Congrats. Get this slideshow thing out of the way. Remove, all right. We are done. Anything uh, in the chat? Anything we should talk about? Anything new? Fines, sales. Uh, you guys consistent out there? I, mean, I know that uh, people are a little discouraged. Ross, dry. Also, keep in mind too, people aren't even back at school yet. So, man, today one of the Ross lines went almost all the way to the back of the store. I'm like, what am I missing here? And then same thing. People buying mirrors and stuff to put on their wall and that was it uh, let me see so all of the days of the week which day is the best you think to find items or restock richard and the funny thing is when what when one ross isn't getting anything usually the other ones aren't getting anything and you start making the rounds and you're like this is the same stuff that was here yesterday um, a lot of low ballers. I'm still buying adapts at the outlets. Big money mo. Big money mo every day. I saw someone buying a mirror today. Uh, mirrors are just popular at Ross. Uh, let me go back up. Uh, let me see. Sales been good. High end cleats moving good. This is the time to try new locations, Mr. Eric. 
How about some pre-owned finds? I see a lot of people making great money on them. Resell Freak for sure. Uh, let me go back up and see every day besides Sunday SA. Very true. Um, that's what Ross says is that they get everything, something every day except for Sunday. Every day but Sunday, says Miles. Let me see. The bet between Jake Paul and Woodley. Loser gets a tattoo of each, each other's name. Uh, there you go, Brian. I go every day. Need the mirrors, old school selfies. What do you think about six rings? They sell good, though. I know we like to make fun of six rings, but they do sell. Been buying tons of mids on restock. There you go. Feels like it's the new high. Um, got to hit at least one Ross every day. Um, let me see. Are you picking up Nike Tech Fit pants for 30? Um, the resale value is there. I'll pick them up for sure. I mean, some are selling at 100, some are at 80, 90. Um, let's see. You got 91 Jordan warm up autograph. William Perry found me some Jordan Concord fanny packs. I did see some of those show up. I think some of the backpacks as well, some of the Concord stuff. Um, let's see. Team Jordan's big sellers, big money mo. Uh, I buy mirrors so I can look at myself and tell myself stop spending money. Alex R picked up black tech pants for 30 bucks. Big money mo. Um, let's see. Picked up today fanny packs out there. At Ross. Uh, let me see. What's the score? Oh, 39-39. Tie ball game. Four minutes 55. Oh, 455 uh, in the second is where we're at right now. So we'll be done. Then it'll be halftime. We guys can catch the rest of the game. Second half is all that matters anyway, right? 39-39 is kind of a low-scoring game, right? Okay, we are done. And tomorrow we got my Jordan video that I was working on. And then Friday I'll get a Ross video. Yes, go check out Outlet and see what's going on out there. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow's video. And then Monday, me and the B will be ready to go. We like those Monday lives. We'll be set. Um, any other questions before we go? I think we're done. Uh, go list. Go ship. Go sell. What about Louis V and Off-White? And the special briefcase thing. Uh, let me see. Mindset Monday. Yeah, that's the plan is that we'll we'll get one in. I do want to like work on that though because we we talked about doing like a podcast version and then kind of going something to make it like cleaner and not just like one-offs here and there on the channel. So we're working it out. Stop holding out, James. Uh, hit that thumbs up, everyone. Appreciate that. All right. I'll see you tomorrow's video. Go out and get